In this video, we're going to be talking about the anatomy and functions of the fish. So we're going to be looking at the external part of the fish and what each part in its external layer does. So before we get into the anatomy, first we want to talk about the positions of the fish. Anterior means in front of the face. Posterior means behind the face. You might understand this if you have seen our brain video. In our brain video, we talked about frontier and posterior. So posterior means after, so after. Anterior means before, so anterior is before, okay? You can kind of think about it this way. Anterior is before the fish comes. Posterior was after the fish came. Next, there's dorsal and ventral. Dorsal is at the top, or uh, for the fish, it's at the back, and ventral is at the bottom or for the fish, it's at the stomach. And lateral means side view. So typically, and when we talk about lateral, we're only referring to a side view. This is a picture of the fish, and this is the lateral view of a fish. All right, so now that we have gotten those simple things out of the way, we're now going to move on to the anatomy. So first, let's start with the fins. The fins of a fish, there are two different pairs of fins, and there's a bunch of other um, functions of the fish that are important for its survival. So first, let's start with the pelvic fins. So the pelvic fins just help in allowing the fish to be able to stop or break. So typically when the fish is moving, what happens is eventually has to slow down for like resting or eating. So basically the pelvic fins are used and they're basically at the bottom and they help stop the fish and try to maintain balance and stability. Next is pectoral fins. Pectoral fins are basically the equivalent of your arm. The pectoral fins help the fish hover over the seafloor, like they help hover over the seafloor, and they're typically used for like mid speed to just light, light uh, jogging like pace. Next is the anal fin. So the anal fin is just used for balance, but it can also play an important role in steering, which is what the caudal fin does. The caudal fin is basically known as the tail fin, but also acts as a motor. This motor is the one that gains speed and also steers the fish so it moves in a certain direction. The anal fin also helps with steering. However, it just helps in trying to dodge any rocks or anything under the um, fish so the fish doesn't face any obstacles or any injury from moving very fast. So the caudal fin is able to move at extremely high te like speeds, and the reason why is so it can move away against like predators, or if it tries to move away from danger, then that can also be a reason why the caudal fin is very fast. Also, pelvic fins and pectoral fins come in pairs. So when we look at the lateral point, we only see one of them, but on the other side, there's another pair. There's another one of them, so it creates one pair. So lastly is the dorsal fin. So as we see over here, dorsal means top. So obviously this fin will be at the top or at the back of the fish. This is just for balance. The, the main purpose of dorsal fin is for balance. So it equally um, has balance. So the dorsal and anal fin are able to move swiftly through the water. And also the reason why the dorsal and anal fins are so important is if the water current is pushing away from the fish, then the dorsal and anal fins allow the fish to cut smoothly between lanes without reflecting without inflicting in any kind of danger. So we talked about lateral as being side. This lateral line is basically a line that um, that enables the fish to be able to feel like vibrations. So if like if you're trying to touch a fish, then it'll feel the most um, it'll enable the most amounts of sensory neurons mainly at the lateral line. So now we're going to be talking about three last things. The upper column, the eye and the mouth. So the upper column and eye are both responsible for respiration. The eye is uh, the eye is there so that the fish can see and understand its surroundings. So the fish, basic, no matter even if the like the eyes are big or small, they still have like obviously the exact same purpose, which is to allow the fish to analyze the surroundings and determine whether it's in danger or not. Also, not just using its um not just using its instincts, but it could also use this variation of eyes to be able to determine whether there's a predator behind it or if it's going to be in danger by going in a certain area. All right, so next is the upper column and the mouth. 
So in the respiration of the fish, the respiration is very complicated. We know water, water composes of hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen is necessary for any organism to live. And in this case, fish need oxygen to live. But the way they're able to um, filter out that oxygen through the water is through gills. That's where the operculum comes in. The operculum stores small hair-like um, small hair-like uh, things inside of not only the throat but at the gills so that it's able to filter out the uh, hydrogen uh, so the hydrogen and water from the oxygen and it's very important for the fish to be able to get its kind its daily supply of oxygen so the fish what happens is to get the most amount of oxygen it breeds at a twice more rate than humans do so the mouth, it's basically every single second, the mouth is letting the water come in and it's getting filtered through the gills every single time, every single second. So also, the mouth might look different on some fishes based on what they eat. So diet can also play a humongous role in their respiration process. Lastly is the scales. So scales is basically just a very hard layer of the fish that protects the fish against any kind of um, predator. So like the predator, It'll see that it's a very hard substance. It'll try not to eat it. So basically for protection, but also let's say for example, like a, like a twig or like a branch or like a rock is coming right at the fish, then the scales would be the first line of defense against that kind of object and would try to protect the fish so that the fish skin and the nerves and also the gills won't be damaged in this process. This is all about the anatomy of the fish. So keep in mind that anterior mean, means in front of, posterior means after or behind, dorsal is at the back of the fish, ventral is at the belly of the fish, and we have five different fins, the dorsal fin, the caudal fin, the annual fin, the pectoral fin, and the pelvic fin. The pelvic fin and pectoral fin come in pairs, then we have scales which is used for protection, then the upper column and mouth is used for respiration, and the respiration happens through filtration in the gills, and lastly the eye is important for being able to analyze the surroundings that the fish is entering itself into, and also determine if it's going to be in a safe place or if there's a predator behind it or something.